This is Jim Emter, Van Allen Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with your closing grain and livestock comments for November 23rd, 2015. Corn market today up to about four cents on the close. This is after trading lower in the overnight session. Much of the focus has been on the Argentine election, runoff elections. Uh, the candidate that had won here doesn't plan on taking off a lot of the export taxes in Argentina, and that was a reason for the negative bias. But overall, we were able to fight some of that off, fight off the stronger dollar, and show some seasonal support here uh, for the corn market. And the soybean complex, we also reversed after trading as much as 14, 13 lower here for a lot of the morning. We came back and finished to the tune of about six to eight higher. Uh, that was quite encouraging to see in beans because we've got some rains down in Brazil uh, that have been keeping a little bit of a negative bias around but I think the models the long-range models are starting to get some people's attention as we look to warmer and drier conditions towards the end of December to January as of right now though Brazil's have really seen some improved conditions uh, for planting and really to kind of get things underway so uh, much of the monitoring here as we work ahead will be on those long-range forecasts the wheat market on the other hand uh, kind of seasonally here due for a bounce as we approach the latter parts of November's early December and then possibly a setback again we don't expect anything too big in these grains uh, but potentially a 15 cent rally in corn, 30 to 40 cent rally in beans, and a 15 to 30 cent rally in wheat. Really kind of in the, in the works here to kind of ease some of the pain that we've seen here on these grain markets. The wheat market today up anywhere from 7 to 10 cents, uh, with Kansas City being the strongest, correcting some of that spread trading. And as we work ahead here, going to be important to see what uh, El Nino brings to the table for these wheat conditions. Typically, we build some premium this time of year in El Nino conditions, and uh, seasonally, this would be a good time time to uh, begin to put some of that rally potential together again we do not see any game changers no big bull markets ahead of us here but some possible correction possible selling opportunities for those that need to be moving grain here in the near term when you look at the cattle markets today uh, we saw the uh, cattle on our cold storage reports come in stocks were uh, more or less in line with expectations uh, they're still larger than last year's but uh, not as big as last month's either so we're looking at equations that might be a little more neutral uh, to the cold storage report and we'll see what the cattle try to do but uh, as of last quote we're uh, pretty much steady on the feeder cattle uh, to up 80 cents and live cattle up a buck a little over that uh, the hog market today was up a buck for much of the morning kind of gave back a little bit of some profit taken in front of the cold storage report and that's really kind of the extent of uh, that we had today so uh, the hog market trying to still build on some rally potential the cattle market reversing some of the weakness uh, but at the end of the day you should see some pretty stiff resistance on about a three to five dollar rally in cattle and hogs and that might be all we'll be able to muster up here in the near term until we get some kind of economic or fundamental change. Uh, that seems to be the pattern we're in. This has been Jim Emter, Van Onik Company, Alexandria, Minnesota. Trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results.